All right, folks, it's a rainy Saturday afternoon, April the 8th, and we're on the road right now, and we're headed to a place we've not been to before, but it's been highly recommended. We've done similar videos, but before I do that, Shaughnessy is going to tell us what today is, April 8th, in baseball history. Shaughnessy, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you do. 49 years ago today, what happened on April 8th, 1974? before I was born, so I don't know. It's baseball history. It involved the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Atlanta Braves. I like doing stuff like this to her because she doesn't know baseball. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Today is the day, 49 years ago, that Hank Aaron broke Babe Ruth's home run record and hit his 715th home run. So that was almost... I was actually just thinking about that. Well, you should have said I it. You, have. But, no, you wouldn't. No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Um, but anyway, today's the day, uh, anniversary of when Hank Aaron became the home run king. As far as I'm concerned, he still is because he did it the right way. Um, but yeah, Al Downing of the Los Angeles Dodgers was the pitcher, and the Braves won the game 7-4. to four. It was hit at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. We've been there. Uh, I've been there many times. I think you saw one game there before they tore it down. But that's not where we're headed today. We're actually heading down Highway 421 in Wilkes County, uh, North Carolina. Uh, we just passed the speedway back there. We're uh, heading down to Hamptonville to another Amish store called the Shiloh General Store. Now, um, I've heard about this place for years. We've done a couple of other Amish store videos and uh, people do seem to enjoy those. So we're gonna try out another one here. It's only uh, about an hour's drive, a little bit less than an hour drive from our house. Uh, and we have not been here before. So we're heading down right now to Hamptonville to the Shiloh General Store. So once we get there, we're gonna go in, look around. I anticipate it's gonna be a lot like the one we featured in Bulls Gap, Tennessee, and also the one in Limestone, Tennessee. What was that first one called again? Was that Troyers? Troyers, yeah. And what was the one in Limestone? That one was, it was Yoder's, wasn't it? Country. I think Yoder's is in Bulls Gap. I think Troyer's was in Limestone. Maybe got it back yeah, I think that's the way it was. But okay. this is Shiloh General Store. I know that one for a fact. And we're going to go down here and check that out. So stay with us. Turn the camera around and let you see the wonderful rainy weather we've had since pretty much Thursday night. Um, I do apologize for the windshield wipers, but it's not raining really hard right now, so they're kind of on intermittent right now. But uh, we're probably another 15 minutes away from the store. Maybe not even that, but. Well, we're just riding down 421 in eastern Wilkes County. Uh, my dad's whole side of the family is from Wilkes County, so I kind of, even though I didn't grow up living here, I'm very familiar with this area. I uh, still have a lot of family here in Wilkes County, so uh, we're heading down that way now. And hopefully not too much further from the store, so uh, we'll show you around when we get there. All right, just across out of Wilkes County into Yadkin County. And we are about a mile and a half from the exit, so we're almost there. And we actually have an Amish horse and buggy right here on the road that we're meeting. There actually is an Amish community here. So on the quarter mile, we're going to be taking a left, probably up here by this church. But yeah, that was interesting. Right here on the road, uh, Amish horse and buggy, the guy did throw his hand up at me. Yeah. But there is an active Amish community in this area, We're, uh, in Hamptonville, North Carolina, Yadkin County. And I believe we have arrived. Yep, there it is. Right here on the left is the Shiloh General Store, so we're looking forward to um, coming in here. We are 60 miles from our house, so we're looking forward to seeing this. Looks like there's a pretty good crowd here. Standing out front of the Shiloh General Store. Looks like they've got a lot of rocking chairs and little areas to eat out here. I understand they make the deli sandwiches like a lot of these stores do. And um, I'm sure they have a lot of good baked goods. Amish stores are always known for that. So. Yes, it does. So, again, some of the same stuff that I've shown you. And the other ones they got here, the um, garlic, pickled garlic, pickled eggs, sauerkraut, jalapeno, jalapeno eggs. The 
vanilla peaches. I bet that'd be good. I bet that would. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I see those Lucky Charms marshmallows, so I'll get another couple bags of those. <laughs> Canned goods here. Beets, pickles, chow chow, mushrooms. So right here they got some barbecue sauces and I'm gonna try that hickory apple. Apple barbecue sauce is good on a variety of things. Chicken, ribs, brisket, you name it. So, let me get some of that. So, move around, see what else they got. Did you find your hat there? Yeah, you like it? Um, well, it's interesting. You gotta get that. Okay. I'll let y'all know how that goes. Alright, got some, um, Frozen rhubarb, blueberries, peaches, raspberries. Uh, look at that strawberry angel food cake. That looks pretty good. We got a German chocolate. Red chocolate. Apple cinnamon streusel. Banana nut. Some sausages. Hot pies, orange cake. I'm trying to give you an overall view of this one. It's very similar to the others. This one may be a little smaller, I think, than the other two. Still got a lot of the same stuff. Let's see what kind of it. See if they got any more of those blueberry. Or not blueberry peach extract. They have a blueberry there. Um, they got cinnamon flake biscuit mix, chicken breader. You can use that on not just chicken, but it looks like pork chops, country style steak, squash. I bet I'd be good on squash. all kinds of nice seasonings. Right, now they've got plenty of hot drink mixes here. they got like a French vanilla hot chocolate. Chocolate raspberry. White chocolate cappuccino. Mm -hmm. Chocolate raspberry. Now those, that might be something to look at for cooler weather. We're still having a little bit of cool weather so if you find something you like. Oh, no, that what did you say? Chocolate raspberry? They have a chocolate raspberry, creamy like caramel. A chocolate raspberry, hot chocolate, caramel. Cinnamon, vanilla nut, chocolate nut. They got a bunch of different. Yeah. And we're going to get a couple bags of these. This is the neat thing. We don't have to buy Lucky Charms and pick through the cereal just to get to the marshmallows. We can just get the marshmallows. And that's the way we've been eating them, ain't it? We put them yes. in a bowl of milk and eat them. Syrups. Yellow grits, white grits. Got snack sticks and plenty of uh, cheese curds. I love cheese curds. I, I actually I love anything cheese. I, I don't think it's possible to have too much cheese. It's just a matter of what flavor do we want today. There's buffalo, garlic dill, mixed white and yellow, and buffalo, and um, I think I saw Cajun, or it's jalapeno, I guess is what it is. Nope, there's Cajun right there. I knew I did. Uh, some of the same ones, but we picked some out because we love cheese curds. They've even got some old home country remedies like pneumonia salve, garlic salve, 
That's best if you don't want to be bothered. That's guaranteed to keep it by the way. I'm sure that has some health benefits, though. Oh, yeah. French mints. Those actually look good, and I don't even know what they are. Cool mint and chocolate center. Smothered in smooth milk chocolate. Yes, they do, don't they? $7.99, wow. wow. I'll, I'll give that one some intense thought. Uh, These are kind of like the things that I used to get there at Opie's candy store. It's, they're like sea salt caramel inside there. Those are really yeah. good. Yeah. They have little tiny candy. You want some licorice? She don't like licorice. You want some licorice? No. How about some, I'll find you some wasabi peas. Okay. I played the coolest joke on her with wasabi peas one time. I used to love those things. Drink the liquid out and then chew on the wax. The things you do as a kid that are fun. Peanut butter pie. That don't look like peanut butter to me. Here's the popcorn. Now I still haven't finished my popcorn from um, Troyer's over that I got in Jonesboro a few weeks back. I got some of the red popcorn bag just like that. And some of those uh, powders there. Um, cheddar powders is what I got. Yeah, cheddar cheese. Still got plenty. Here we go. Here's some. I'm not seeing those fried pies that I like in the white package. You know what I'm saying? Actually, there's some fried pies there. But yeah, let me go ahead. Might as well go ahead and grab those before they get gone. That's my, one of my favorite flavors. You see any you want? I see a raspberry cream that would probably be That's delicious. a very limited selection compared to what we got at the other stores. These are smaller as well. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Chest uh, bars. Those are usually good, too. Well, get them if you want. Give me that cherry one, too. I don't have many left, so... the sandwich stout deli section so I'm guessing we're going to be getting something to eat here over here they got some breads and also when you walk into this bread section it smells all of a sudden very good just like, just like baking bread sourdough I bet that's what I'm smelling Very, very good smell. Did you notice the that's, bread smell as you walked yes. over here? Yes. Oh, that's warm bread. Yeah, that's what that's what we're smelling right there is that sourdough. And it smells really good. There's a tomato basil bread. That, I admit that one's got me curious. Where do you see that? Right there. Right here. Hold that. Tomato basil bread. That can't be bad. You want to try it? I don't know. I don't know if we. What would we eat with it? I'd get some sandwich meat or something. But that would uh, be we might do that. Okay. We might do something like that. What flavor would you get? That would be good to try. That's different. Hey, look here. Look here. What does that remind you of down there? Down there on the bottom shelf. Well, the next to the bottom shelf, I'm sorry. There at the place, the Troyers in Sarasota. Oh, it's got those. Yeah, it does. Now I have found something here I did not see in the other two, but they have these at the Troyer's Dutch Heritage in Sarasota that we did a few years back. This is like a brown sugar icing cinnamon rolls. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. These are, are going in the cart. Because I haven't seen these at the other two up here, but you can buy these in Sarasota. I always get some. So these are really good. So highly recommended.
one for monster cheese. All right, looks good. You put your order in on these little cards and you hand it to them and they make it for you. Okay, so the sandwiches are six dollars and you get to pick whatever chip you want to go with it. There's your choices. Alright, so here's what we got so far. We just got we did try to decide to try that tomato basil bread. We're gonna have to get some deli meat to go with that. Uh, we got a chicken breader. Uh, cheese curds, Cajun cheese curds, cinnamon rolls, a couple of little fried pies, the Lucky Charms marshmallows, and apple barbecue sauce. And we got our deli sandwiches, so we're going to pay and go eat. But here on the front porch, they've got several of these little chairs with the little tables uh, between them. That's where we're going to be eating our lunch. We each got us a deli sandwich. So. We ran out to get some bottled water. Actually, have a table down there. You want to sit it in? Yeah, they got it. If it's dry. Right down here. Okay. Oh yeah, I just panned down that way and didn't even notice it. That'd be a lot easier. It's a little cold to be sitting outside, but not a very pleasant day, is it? Just a raw, rainy, yeah, cold day. But mm -hmm. so what'd you get? You grape soda, pure cane sugar. And you can help me drink some of that. Cause I don't know. If I'd I like to try that. Since drink it's made all with that. Real, made with the real stuff. I'd like to just yeah. try a drink or two of it anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's pray. Father, we thank you for the safe trip up here today, for the rain that you've blessed us with, and just all the many blessings. We thank you most of all for this is the weekend that we most importantly remember the resurrection of Jesus Christ that provides us eternal life, and we're thankful for that. Thank you for this food. We pray that you would bless it. Give us a safe trip home in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, show your sandwich. Tell us what you got on it. So I, I got a your... turkey with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and banana peppers with provolone cheese. Okay, and I got turkey with provolone, but I got mayonnaise, mustard, and pickles, and tomato, I think. So, mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious about those salsa, garden salsa chips. There. Oh, those chips are delicious. Oh, you've already tried some. Yeah. I'll open my sandwich up there if you would. Show you. Okay. All right, we're going to dig into this and let you know what we think. Right, out over here on the side of the building behind it. It's just pretty much right here in the woods. Right, they feature locally made honey. I guess I should give you um, the hours here. Tuesday through Friday 9 to 5, Saturday 9 to 4, they're closed Sunday and Monday. There's the phone number if you should need to get a hold of them. Or you can go to ShilohGeneralStore.com. And while you're in town, you can adopt your Rottweiler puppy. Make you a good guard dog. Or a Norwegian elk hound. And, hmm, pretty, pretty little guy. I don't know if they're good guard dogs or not. But he looks like he'd be fun to have. Looks like he needs a home. They sell the Rada uh, cutlery here. Also, locally made Moravian chicken pot pies. Looking out and about the countryside here. And my seat in the van has been taken. You gonna let me sit down? I appreciate it. Or you want out? All right, let's let you walk. All right, we're still here in the parking lot of Shiloh General Store. We are going to try two more items, and then we're going to give a closeout. This is our Cajun 
Is it Cajun or buffalo? Buffalo, no, buffalo I'm sorry. Uh, buffalo cheese curds. I don't think we've ever had that flavor. We have had Cajun, and we've had garlic and all the others. So we're going to give those a try, and then those chocolate things, we did end up getting them. French the mint. French, get yeah, cool French mint. mint, chocolate mint, cool mint, some kind of mint. Sorry, it's like so, I'm trying to figure out how to... They got unsealed and... Oh, okay. That's vacuum sealed. So we'll be back in just a second. All right. So, buffalo cheese curd. What do you think? They're good. You can taste the buffalo seasoning. I wouldn't and Of know. course, the... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Those would be good. Warmed up. Kind of melty like. That would be like super good. What the size of these things? I think you're right on that. I think they're better heated up. I think that's what I'm going to do with those. those I'm going to say, They're yeah. good, but those would be really, really good melted. Mm -hmm. um, something I learned a couple of years ago. We got some of the garlic cheese curds there in Sarasota. We took those back to the room. We grilled out hamburgers one night. We melted those and put them on the hamburgers. You talk about something that was out of this world. I che think those would be good the same way. Yeah, cheese curds that are melted, they are, they are amazing. Yeah. That'd be a good flavor to melt down and have something like on a warm sandwich. Maybe even a deli sandwich. Yeah, that's uh, an idea. Show, show these. Show so them. here's the, that's what they're called. We debate on getting them. They're $7.99. But, but they're nice and big. I'll give you the first one. Right. That. They smell. I thought it would be green on the inside, but those are good. Uh -huh. Those would be good to just let your melt in your mouth, too. Smooth chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. Good mint flavor. Yeah. Yeah, really good. I can eat all these. Okay, at least have one more. <laughs> I'll share. <laughs> Not now. I just saved them mm -hmm. well. We'll do our close out. All right, we're going to give our final thoughts here of the Shiloh General Store in Hamptonville, North Carolina. And naturally, um, not really meaning to do this, but since we have been to two Amish stores um, within just a couple of months of each other, two others besides this, this is the third, we are going to compare some things. So, um... I'll go ahead. I'm going to let her talk first. I will go ahead and say there's a couple of things I like better about this one and a couple of things I like less about it. So I don't know how it hits you, but just go ahead and kind of give your thoughts and impressions. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> first, when you pull up to it, it looks pretty, pretty nice. I love the chairs sitting outside. They've got plenty of seating outside. There's a table on each end for, as far as the eating. So there is room to sit outside here. It's um, a bad day to do it. It's yeah, cold. Yeah, it's about, cold. What, about 38, 40 degrees. Yeah, and, cold and right. My hands are still freezing from sitting I'd rather there. it snow than have a day like this. Where Rain it's, yeah. cold, yes. But it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, still pretty. Um, as far as when you go inside, it is smaller. Like I said, if we're comparing to the other ones, it is smaller in size. But it does still have a lot of the same basic things. As far as baked goods, there were just that one little area uh, besides the breads as far as pies and cakes. Um, so that, that was a little smaller. Um, the deli section I thought was still pretty well stocked. Um, and like I said, you know, a lot of the same <coughs> kinds of things that the other stores had as far as the candies, the seasonings, um, the canned goods, jars and jellies and so forth. Um, was good. Now my sandwich, um, I do think the bread was homemade. I did get wheat bread. It just, it was kind of dry in my opinion. I wasn't overly impressed. The meat was good. The <coughs> cheese was good. They just didn't give you a lot of it. But my sandwich was good. Um, I, I always like sun chips, so that was good. And then I got, I don't know if this is an Amish grape soda or not. But and they probably had that in the other stores too. We didn't actually look at yeah. those, but it's made from cane sugar. Yeah, so it was good. Um, <coughs> And we hadn't tried any of the baked goods yet. So like our little fried pies and things like that, we haven't tried those, but I'm sure they'll be good. Usually Amish stuff is very good. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, I've got a very positive, you know, feeling of the place, experience. So I'm glad we, we came. I, I am. I would, yeah. I'd say if you're definitely uh, traveling Highway 421 around the Yadkin, Wilkes County line, this is in Yadkin County, but definitely you want to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. Um, were you finished? Yeah, if I think of something else, I'll, I'll yeah. Uh, on. Like she said, it just it's just kind of sitting out here in the country, which is what makes it pretty. It's very mm -hmm. very nice building, very good first impression when you drive up. Mm -hmm. um, there is adequate seating on the front uh, deck there. There are a couple of tables. There's another table right here, um, and a lot of those little I showed you those earlier. The little two chairs joined by a small table in the middle. So 
you know, adequate seating if you do decide you want to eat here. Uh, they do have the deli. Now, um, as far as making the comparisons, this one is the smallest of the three we've been to. Um, I'm pretty comfortable saying that. I would say that probably 95% of the stuff that we saw in here is the same as what we had seen there. So uh, if you found something in one of those you liked, you're probably going to be able to get it here depending on what it is. Um, I think uh, the things that I guess I liked better about this one I really did like that grape soda, by the way, and those others may have it too. We didn't even look, but uh, it reminds me of those old Grape Crush uh, sodas. That I don't know if they still make those. I haven't seen one in years. Orange I, Crush and Grape Crush. I don't really pay attention. Uh, I used to love those as a kid. It was just, it was really good. Kind of took me back to that, that experience. Um, <clears throat> I liked here. Um, I like the fact they had a different uh, flavor of a cheese curd that we've not tried, and I think that's going to be really good heated up mm -hmm. on, on a sandwich. Um, I've never seen the buffalo flavored in any of the other two. So I did like that. Um, I think, yeah, like she mentioned, the baked goods selection was not as extensive here at all. I, I would have expected a lot more than that from an Amish store than what they actually had. Now they had some stuff that looked good. It probably was, just wasn't a lot of it. And uh, like the other places had strawberry pies, rhubarb pies. I didn't really see that here today. I'm wondering if this stuff is made more locally because the store ends and Could then there's be. this another building here. And we smelled yeah. the bread when we got right over there to it, but there was like nowhere for them to bake it. So it makes me wonder if they make the stuff here in this other building. It's very possible. Yeah. Um, one of the other things I did like about this store as opposed to the other two is they had those cinnamon rolls that I showed you with the brown sugar icing. Uh, the only other place I've ever seen those is in uh, at Troyer's Dutch Heritage in Sarasota, Florida, off of Bahia Vista. We did a video on there two years ago. We're about due for another one, I think. Um, uh, they are a little bit maybe better coverage. We might actually eat in the restaurant this time. We'll be going in August. But I do. I did like the fact I saw those, and I haven't tried them yet to make sure they're the same, but uh, that was a selling point right there. They had those. The other two in Tennessee didn't. Where I didn't like this one as good as the other two in Tennessee is... Again, the selection was not as good. I um, was really hoping to find another bottle of peach extract. That stuff's very hard to find and very expensive to get online. So I was, I was actually going to stock up on that. They didn't have it. They had a bottle of blueberry. Uh, we've already used our little cotton candy vials up that we got at the other. We made cotton candy ice cream the other week, and that's pretty good. The sandwich, my sandwich was good. Now, I will say this, and she's already mentioned it. It was a lot smaller than what, uh, the only other place we got the deli sandwich, that was at Yoder's in Bulls Gap. Mm -hmm. I remember making a comment then how thick they went with the meat on that. I mean, it, that was a man-sized sandwich right there. And uh, it was one of those that about last you all day. I don't think this is going to last me all day. But this, what I got today was about what I was expecting then. I was not expecting that sandwich to be as big as it was. I was kind of expecting what I got today. This one, there was not nearly as much meat on it. Uh, uh, it was just like what you would probably make at home or just in a regular, you know, if you ordered a deli sandwich anywhere. I, I didn't have any problems with the with the quality of it. I thought it was good. I had mayonnaise and mustard on mine. I don't know if what you got on yours. Same. You said it was dry. Um, the bread was kind of dry just to Oh, okay. Sale. Yeah. I, I, my sandwich was fine. Um, I, I did enjoy I actually had never tried those uh, garden salsa flavored sun chips. I like, I'm going to get a big bag of those if I can find them. Those were good. Um, other than that, they had the Lucky Charms marshmallows. Um, that's always great. That's a time saver right there. I mean, you don't have to pick through the bad stuff to get to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's always fine, nice just to find those in the bag. So we've got a couple more bags. We've gotten those everywhere we went at an Amish <laughs> store. Um, so those chocolate mint things were really good. I don't yes. remember seeing those in the other places. If they were, I missed them. Yeah. So other than that, I mean, it's a favorable, favorable impression. It was worth oh, us yeah. coming up here today. Yeah, I'm glad we came. You know. If I had to rank them one, two, three, I would probably do Yoder's, Troyer's, and this one. Mm -hmm. That would be my my rank. Yeah, um, I agree. But that don't mean this one's bad. It's just no, still a good place. It is. So anyway, that's it. Um, Shiloh General Store, Hamptonville, North Carolina. Thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.